two. Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei. Now listen up, bro. I am finna show y'all the safest lockdown build to make in NBA 2K21 that is very overpowered and is the best perimeter lockdown build, second ball handler build, and the safest to make, especially if shooting stays hard and all this and that, and you're an amazing defender, you can slash, and you can take over, you can even speed boost. You are Kawhi Leonard himself, okay? This is the overall best build, the best lockdown build probably to make right now. I have not been seeing any um, play locks or pure locks hitting yet, so I mean, most likely they will be able to because they did buff shooting. I see a bunch of people shooting crazy now, but but we're, 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 we're going to see, my boy. We're going to see, but overall, a perimeter lockdown is still always a good build to have a sharp lock is always a good build to have or you can run them on the twos or the threes to guard ball and stuff the only th time a perimeter lock becomes a problem is when is when you guard the the cheesy goats and stuff like that in like stage but <laughs> don't play like that so i would say if you're not very good at the game you're a casual, right? Or you just struggle with shooting every year, stuff like that. This would be the best lock for you, okay? Easiest lock to use because you have Hall of Fame shooting. Now I'm finna show y'all the build right now, but hey, I'm gonna drop a shooting badge method tomorrow. You can get three badges a game, my boy. So if y'all want that, 3,000 likes on this video, man. Make sure y'all watch this full video with no skips. If you want to make the best perimeter lockdown build for you, I'm going to show you overall which is the best. I see people making perimeter lockdown builds. Well, actually, I don't see, but I know people are making this because y'all always send me builds, have me critique, have you have me try to help you on stream and all that stuff. That's where y'all spam me. By the way, follow me on Twitch if you need build advice, tips, all that other stuff, man. But look, listen, listen, listen. I see him making like with one finishing. It's just, it's dumb to me, right? It's it's dumb to me. You just want to be a shooter. They made shooting harder. They buff defense. How you going to finish with no finishing badges? Think about that, bro. You feel me? But look, so anywho, we are going to make this lock build a point guard. The difference between point guard and shooting guard for this build that I'm making is the point guard is like one attribute faster and it gets one more finishing badge the shooting guard just gets like 20 more attributes that's basically the difference make it what you want <laughs> you know we're gonna make him a point guard bro okay now there are see lockdowns are probably the lockdowns and centers are probably the most challenging position to make overall because there's so many variables. You don't know if pure locks are gonna be able to shoot. Pure locks are able to shoot like all the other years, then of course they would be the best, right? Of course they would be the best. But if they're not, then the play lock or the sharp lock is gonna be a wave. Now, people might not even be able to shoot with the play lock. Who knows, you know? But yeah, and then this little pie chart right here, you get gold shooting instead of Hall of Fame. But you get more defensive stats. But overall, I think this is the safest, best one to last you. I know a lot of y'all aren't going to next gen. I know a lot of y'all ain't got the money to go to next gen. So even for next gen, I'm sure this build will still be here. It's still going to be made. Use this knowledge that I'm going to give you to make this. We're going to go with this pie chart right here. Now for the perimeter lock, bro, we have to go with the most speed pie chart because... Um, you're not gonna be able to get that 99 speed, 99 acceleration, like the pure lock and the play lock are able to get. And this build will be able to speed boost, okay? Oh, but hey, before we go any further, make sure y'all subscribe if you know. Hit that goddamn like button. It helps a young nigga getting fucking recommended. If you fuck with me in any form or fashion, hit the like button. Turn on nutties. Subscribe if you know. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, nigga. <laughs> help me get promoted but look so look here's why we're gonna go with this right so i think this is the best badge lineup and the best attribute lineup 
Now, um, I'm going to change his height, all that, but listen up. So close shot, you know, you need that close little fade stuff. You could do that. You know, you're going to be able to speed boost eventually. So you could be a second ball handler. This is for pro-am threes, two V twos. You can play the two spot with this build, right? But look, okay. I'm going to give y'all some slight variations. Now you have to have your finishing like this for the three finishing, right? I like it like this, bro. Overall, you're going to be able to finish better. Um, you got 17 shooting badges, okay? You're going to be able to go at a higher wingspan, Hall of Fame shooting. That's beautiful. You're going to be good, especially as a spot up. Now, 10 playmaking. You don't need this much. You could go down to six and stuff, but you still stay at 20 badges. So I took some off of defense. I do want to max all of this. Now, if y'all don't really want to have playmaking like all that, you can nerf your play, your play pass accuracy and... You could just, you know, do this right here, you know, max that, then max that, then get 22 and then do something like this. But me personally, I'm going to have some playmaking so I can run Dimer, Floor General, stuff like that to help out the guard that that's playing. Right. So th this is how I did it. Right. So I just maxed it. Right. So you, you get 10, you know, it goes down little by little. You get 10 so you can rock 10, help out your teammates and put the block up. Or you could do the offensive rebound. It all depends on what you're going to be playing. If you're going to be using this as the two spot, you know, like the rebounding guard, the rebounding wing, then, you know, um, you could def definitely take off the pass accuracy, stuff like that, and then put it towards the offensive rebound, the block. But I'm going to mostly be playing on ball, stuff like that. And I'm already going to have, I don't know, bro. It's completely up to you. I want to be a secondary ball handler with this build small ball type shit you know mostly mostly i'm gonna be using him for the threes and stuff so i like it like this you know you can get some blocks stuff like that and yeah so we're gonna go burly it's gonna make you look even taller than the height that you're gonna be going you're gonna be more intimidating stuff like that man now look you can go six five right you can go six five you unlock pro dribble moves all the good dribble moves at 85 this year it's completely different. I'm sure there, there'll probably be some other moves that you can speed boost out of and stuff, but it probably won't be as good. But you know, you could go 6'5, you could go 6'6, six, six, or you could go 6'7, right? Could go 6'7 if you're gonna be playing tools with them, or you know, I would not go 6'7 if you're gonna be guarding on ball. If you're guarding all ball, I would only do 6'6 six, six and 6'5, six, right? I would make them 6'6. Six, six. This is what I'm going to choose. 6'6", six, six, lowest weight, so you get your max speed and acceleration with the plus 8 or 9, whatever it is, once you get the gym rat and all that. Now look, with your wingspan, okay? I would suggest going max wingspan, okay? But, you know, you don't get the sharp takeover. I want sharp takeover, right? You know, you can even get playmaking takeover, slasher takeover, lock take. I want sharp takeover. So look, we're gonna go down one tick. Oh, I, I actually, actually you do get sharp take. Okay, <laughs> I'm tripping, I'm tripping. We're gonna go down one tick from max wingspan, man. I mean, we're gonna go down one tick and we gonna unlock sharp takeover, my boy. And bam, so this year, I mean, I would suggest the most safest option is to go lock take, stuff like that, you know. But me, overall, man, I'm not playing with Mike Wang. I'm not playing with these niggas, bro. I'm going straight OP, okay? I want to be a scorer on every single build I make. Just lethal God. Sharp take is the easiest, most toxic takeover. I'm going to be a lockdown stretch big, man. I'm going to have a lot of speed, secondary ball handler. I'm going to be able to go crazy, bro. So whatever y'all see Stretch Bigs doing this year, I don't know if y'all's hip, but they're 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 going crazy, bro. Whatever y'all seeing play shots doing, I'm gonna be able to kind of do it on this build while being able to speed boost, you know, Kawhi Leonard in the flesh. I'm going with sharp take, my boy. You could go with slash it, you know. You could go with playmaker, you feel me? You could go with lock, you know. It's 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 all up to you, bro. You want to be an ultimate spot up super god, you know. Just save your team in crazy ways, make the game way easier for you, or you want to slash, help them out like that, or you want to start actually being able to speed boost in your playmaking takeover. And once you dot people, they 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 get the dimer boost from it. You break ankles too. 
or lock take and you know it's all up to you bro i'm going sharp take i don't give a fuck perimeter lockdown my boy <laughs> steph curry kirk and john wall yeah the, the i don't know why the hell steph curry is it's like every he's every build but it, it doesn't even match the style bro it's dumb as hell i'm finishing all the best badges for this build um but yeah so when i make build videos bro this shades of shit this shit don't mean nothing bro because it's not accurate at all it's like it really isn't i know y'all i know i see a lot of y'all with them dumbass comments get it together bro hey man y'all hit that like button if you if you think this uh this build is 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 nice man so look you can go gold contact finisher you're gonna be able to finish way more than with one finishing badge or something like this whichever is more op man um yeah you know help you out bro you know shooting badges man you know you could rock something like this if you're struggling in the corner or like this you get the double boost who knows if silver is still better than hall of fame this year and um your green machine because you're not always gonna get all those crazy shots man um dead eye for when you gotta bail out your uh guard or whatever you gotta force that shot you know or if you're not really doing that that much you could do this but your must-haves on purple are these it's definitely hot zone and range and um yeah if, if you're shooting more than two shots a game then you know you can start putting up your uh green machine way more than than usual uh but if you're not bro like really think about it bro from what i hear it takes two shots and then the third shot if you green those two it activates so if you're not gonna be getting od dotted like you can you can lay off this shit put it on gold or you know all all up to you my boy but yeah you know you do something like that either that or that all all, all up to you man now look playmaking takeover look look at this so you got the dimer you got the floor general you don't even need the dimer bro you know you you could do something like this now look listen i know the post spin didn't go up but listen guys i've tested this last year i used to destroy guards so you're gonna be in the corner or the top of the key correct on offense right so listen pro tip my nigga you're gonna be playing these baby ass guards all these comp dudes all the they're making six two guards six three or they're making them with like no defensive badges and then even then they don't have post score and stuff so your guy gets in trouble or you just want to score you got gold post technician bro put them put you know put your back to them spin you you got an open lane you feel me you got an open lane and you could dunk it most most of the time bro um i used to do it on my play lock though but i'm pretty sure it'll still work on this build now if you don't really care about quick first step you know once they see you babying the little guard right they'll probably try to help off the stop and then bam you have dimer and floor general you know pro tips my nigga pro tips up to you i'm probably gonna rock something like this though um if i get ripped a lot i'll probably take post and do this you know something like this man either way and now for the defensive man you know you you could rock something like this or pickpocket not valid you know chase down artists you know or silver interceptor all all up to you bro actually bro they 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 they, they buffed they buffed paint defense so you could probably get away with uh this right here you know and nice little badges you know feel me if you can get away with gold who knows bro but um this would be a nice setup overall if you can get steals in the passing lanes without interceptor you could rock like this tyler's defender was amazing last year i don't know if it's needed this year i'm gonna have to lab that um same with chase down interceptor with all these badges i haven't really played defense this year but i will be letting y'all know i will be making videos while i'm using this build and i will be going crazy my boy but anywho that's the end of the video bro so make sure y'all subscribe if you don't hit the like button help me get it recommended turn on post notifications i'm gonna be helping y'all with all the best builds dribble moves jump shots raise tages all that other bullshit make sure you follow me on twitch go watch all my other build videos and um yeah i'm out this whole 3,000 likes and i'll drop my shooting badge method tomorrow um on my um sub account i already got the max badges all 21 you feel me 
So, y'all want that shit? I got you, my boy. I'm out this hole. Y'all have a beautiful day. Drink a gallon of water a day. And yeah.